Hi there, it's Peter again, the guy who hates tomatoes, and in today's screencast we'll be looking at adding some nice overlay to our already created animation. We'll be fading in and out uh, two transparent PNGs and then making this split animation out uh, over the tree. So let's get into it. The first thing we'll need to do is to adjust the height of our page or section. So we'll change the section height from 5,000 to 16,000, which will give us enough space for the scrolling animations after the tree has been built. We'll go to the HTML section and we'll add our next element, which will be the sketched grid overlay. I called it uh, vertical rhythm. It is a simple diff with image inside of it with a transparent PNG and some data attributes which means that the element is 5000 uh, is invisible at 5100 pixels scroll top position and then fades in at about 6000 scroll top position stays visible for about 1600 pixels and then fades out when we hit 8,100 pixels from the top of the page. To position the PNG at the right spot, we'll add some extra CSS. That will give us the effect we are after. It's a position fixed as all the other elements, top and left 50%, and then we're moving it to the right spot by setting a negative margin half of the width and height. So we're not doing anything new. If you haven't checked the first two parts, go and check them out because that's where I'm talking about this a uh, little bit more detail. If we scroll down now, you can see 5000 pixels, the tree builds up and then transparent overlay comes on top of it and fades out after 1600 pixels scrolling down. The next effect of the golden ratio spiral is exactly the same. So we'll be doing exactly the same steps. We'll adding a new HTML element with the new transparent uh, PNG. This one is called golden ratio, it has the same data attributes, but different offsets. But the principle is the same, stays opacity zero, goes to opacity one, stays for some times and then fades out and inside is a transparent PNG. In the CSS, we'll add a section which will be very similar to the vertical rhythm div, position tip top uh, fixed left 50% and negative margin and um, negative margin top and left. So when we scroll down, we've got the first transparent overlay and then second one. The next effect might be probably the most uh, complicated out of these three, but it's not as uh, complicated as it looks. It's actually created by two divs and they moving uh, in a different directions when you scroll down. So if you look at it here, you'll see the grid coming on top of the tree from the middle. So it starts at one pixel and both divs grow 200% height. And then at certain point, they both animated out of the view. So one of them is translated at the Y axis to minus thousand pixels and the other one to plus a uh, thousand pixels. So let's recreate it in our code pen. As always, we'll add first the HTML elements. The first one, I'll paste the both of them at the same time and I'll just talk uh, through it. So we've got two divs, one is called G top and one is called G bottom. And both of them have a class grid, which defines the positioning of it our CSS for, for these two divs and to see it more properly. So you see that the grid, the div grid 
has a background image, which is just a striped uh, PNG, transparent PNG. The width is set and the height is one pixel. So at the start, it's one pixel and margin left as always, it's uh, half of the width. Opacity set to zero. The difference between these two divs is that they are positioned. One is positioned 50% from the top. The other one is 50% from the bottom. So they appear both in the middle, but the difference is that they are both positioned from a different uh, different side of the whole container. So when we look at it now, you'll see after the first two overlays fading in and out that we've got two divs here, one pixel height, and then we're animating the height of these divs to be taller. And at certain point, they looks like they break apart but they're moving to different positions. So the top bit is moving 1000 pixels off the screen up and the other 1000 pixels uh, of the screen down, which is, if we look at closer at the data attribute in the HTML view, you see that it starts opacity zero, goes to opacity one, the height is one pixel here, and then we'll animate the height to 1000 pixels. And at 15, thousand pixels off the top of the page we're transforming it to thousand pixels of the screen the bottom bit is exactly the same but we reversing because we want to move it down off the screen and not up to better understand how this effect was created we're gonna deconstruct it once more in the web developer tools and uh, that will give you a better idea how, how it was actually built and how, how it behaves so we will find that uh, div g bot. So these are the two divs we are animating for this effect. And as you can see that we're animating the height of it. So when you scroll down, you see how the height is growing from one pixel to a thousand pixels. And for the bottom bit is exactly the same because they are positioned a different way. The top bit is positioned top 50%, the other one positioned bottom 50%. That's where it looks like they're growing a different direction. If they were both positioned uh, top 50%, they would go, they would both animate up, but because they're positioned um, from a different, different side of the container, that's what makes them grow to different direction. But we're animating just the height of it, okay? That's probably the most confusing things for you to understand. But yeah, we're not doing anything different to any of the divs. They both animating the height, but because they position a different uh, side of the container, that's why they are growing in different direction. And when you scroll a little bit down, they the, the moment when they break apart, we're starting to animate the transform y from zero to minus thousand pixels and the top bit goes to plus thousand pixels and obviously the opacity fades out as well after some time so hopefully that gives you a better idea how this um, animation was created because i had a lot of questions how it was done and um, i thought this would make it much more clearer that's it for today and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. Next time we can have a look at the next part of the animation of Merry Christmas Lux. If you just happen to find this tutorial and screencast uh, randomly on YouTube, go to my blog and uh, check it out. I've got a few more tutorials, uh, website deconstructions and uh, other interesting articles for front-end developers. If you haven't seen the first two parts of uh, the Merry Christmas deconstructions and want to learn more about the basics of uh, scroll data attributes go and check them out and feel free to grab the code pen URL and deconstruct it debug it break it take it apart and learn something new from it you can also show the love to this uh, screencast and uh, tutorial by giving it a hard on CodePen.
and you can also follow me to see all my other future code pens and, and demos. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.